Welcome on Extra Scale Modeling. This is part 3 of Winglot Sopwith Camo F1 Scale 1 to 32. In part 2, I uh, built the instrument panel, uh, placed on the decals, and uh, painted it. In part 3, I'll be carrying on with the instrument panel, placing it inside the cockpit, and uh, building up the cockpit. So let's jump into this and see how I get on. So carrying where I left off, First of all, I'm putting in the uh, foot plates onto the bottom half of the fuselage. And then the control stick goes in between. I'm using Tamiya's XF16 flat aluminium. And this is for a, comp a compartment that sits behind the pilot seat, as well as for this uh, part here. I'm using Tamiya's XF55 deck tan, and this is for the pilot seat. Tommy is XF52 flat earth. This is for the seat cushion. Moving on to Revel Aquacolor 84 leather brown. And I'm painting the photo edge part here. And these are the seat belts. Now these seat belts are massively wide. Um, I didn't know they were this wide on aircraft. Um, it seems um, a bit strange to me, but there you go. Moving on to XF68 NATO Brown by Tamiya. This is for the framework at the bottom of the cockpit. Okay, can now move on to the assembly. And uh, first of all, there's this little control bar that goes on the area where the seat is going to be stationed. So this goes over its uh, own little location point, first of all. The bar is a controlling uh, bar for the wires that operate the rudder and uh, flaps of the aircraft. So once I was on I could place it onto the sidewall of the cockpit. Now the instructions say that I should put the instrument panel on before this. Um, but after test fitting it I decided to put this part on first because the actual contact point is very small um, on the bar for the instrument panel. So it was uh, better to have the sidewall there just so it can lean against and hold. Now moving on to Tamiya's X18 semi-gloss black and these are for the straps over this uh, container compartment. Now I, I confess I didn't paint these very neatly at all. Um, I think I had too much coffee at this point. My, my line was slightly off. But in the end I decided to leave it like that. Uh, I think it gave it more an authentic look. And going back to the seat, it's life color LPW19 wood deck shadow. And this is just to highlight areas on the seat. So there's a the connection between the top part of the seat and the bottom. There's a little line. So I decided to paint that in this uh, color. Next to go on is the seat. There's a little platform for it to sit on. There is two small connecting rods that go from the seat onto the framework. These are um, very small. Um, as you can see, the camera can't really pick them up at all. Why they were molded onto that, I'll say, I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but uh, you have to place them on. If you think, oh, I can leave them off, the, the, the thing doesn't look right. So it really needs these two little items to go on. And now for the seat belts. As I feared, the, I think these are too wide. Um, I'm not sure whether they've been more or wrong or they really are should be that way, but they're absolutely huge. They they don't really fit inside uh, the seat. It took a lot of bending and twisting to to get them in. Um, so I'm just not sure whether it was a proper shape for them or width or design, whatever. I, I don't think they should be all like that. But of course, I could be completely wrong. I'm going on to the gun mounts now, and this is getting painted in Tamiya's XF82 Ocean Grey to RAF. And while that's drying, I'm going to fit the cockpit seat. Um, there is little locations throughout the, the side of, of the um, paddling for this to fit onto. They are well defined, so it's not difficult uh, to locate them and get them fitted. Next to go on is a little support beam that sits directly underneath the seat. This has to go on after you, you fit the seat uh, for uh, the contact points. 
and once it was all in place I can put on the um, other um, side wall. The location points are exactly the same as I built onto. Um, it was just a matter of lining them up correctly before uh, pressing them all together. It can take a little bit of time to, to align them all up um, but um, just do one point at a time and move down the unit and uh, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with lining them up. Moving on to the guns and the ammo is XF16 flat aluminum that was painted in and they just go on the side of the gun and the gun itself is X10 gun metal both by Tamiya. So um, these little ar ammo feed or, or cases it's important to note the location when you're building these because they only they can go on both sides of the weapon but they should only go on one side uh, one facing out of the uh, mount and one side facing in the mount so um, there's no left and right as such if you look at them they all go in one direction so first of all I place the mount on and the mount sits over the instrument panel in the little U-shaped um, areas uh, first of all before um, uh, attaching the actual weapons and as I'm attaching the, these this is where I'll uh, end part three so quite a lot done um, although very small processes so if you haven't done so already why don't you check out the channel for my other builds if you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and you'll be kept up to date on this build and all my other builds hit that like button and leave a comment and don't forget to share the video but for now thank you all very much for watching bye bye